How's it going Forex traders? It's yours truly Dapper Willis guys. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some really cool stuff, right? I want to educate you guys on the best time zone you should be trading in. Guys, this is a very important thing in Forex because I see a lot of people like, do I trade in the morning? Is it best to trade in the afternoon during New York session? Should I trade at night? I have a 9 to 5 job. Is all these things going on? And guys, you know how Forex gets. You know, you have to worry about when to trade. You have to worry about how to trade. So it's a lot going on. So I'm here. I'm Dapper Willis and I'm here to help you guys, you know, put the entire puzzle together. And today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my secret, okay? I've been trading 11 years, I've made a lot of money in the market, and today I wanna to tell you at what points of the day do I trade that makes me a ton of money. Now guys, if you're interested in finding out more about all of this, and you wanna make a lot of money from the Forex market and understand the best time zones for your trading, I suggest you stick around, don't go nowhere. Just sit right there and I'll catch you guys in two seconds. Let's go. Sorry guys, before I jump into the video, I forgot to add this part, right? Make sure, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds, smash that subscribe button down there so that you don't miss out on juicy information like this in the future, I'm always dropping. Very valuable stuff and I'm one of the realest guys out there you're gonna find. So I give you five seconds, five, subscribe, four, three, two, one. All right, let's jump into the video for real now, let's go. All right guys, so welcome back to this amazing video where we're gonna be talking about time zones, forex trading time zones. Now, if you're just you know new to forex and you're just wondering well, what exactly is the time zone, so I'll make it pretty brief. Obviously, most of the guys who watch my YouTube channel are newbies, but most of you guys are actually like in the, maybe been doing it about three, four, five months. So you kind of already know what time zones are, but let's indulge the people who know nothing about time zones, right? And don't forget guys, at the end of the day, I'm gonna be telling you guys which is the best one to use. So don't go nowhere, just stay there, right? So for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, so the Forex market is actually broken down into four different time zones. So you have, you know, when you wake up in the morning, there's the London session. And then as the London session is closed, so it's about 9 a.m. GMT. So you guys know the financial, the Forex hub, right? The Forex hub, um, uh, the, the hub for Forex trading, rather, is actually situated in London, right? So the Forex market pretty much opens when the London, uh, pretty much kicks off when the London traders wake up, when they get on their desk. Uh, how do I know this? Because, I mean, it's, it's facts. And I used to work in London as well. I used to be a, you know, a really good trader in Canary Wharf. I put some pictures here just to show you guys. Yes, that's Canary Wharf right there. So I used to work in Canary Wharf. So we'll get Get to the office on Monday. We usually used to kick off the trading day, so we'll trade all the way till about 3 30, 4 o'clock when we close. Now, as at about 2 o'clock London time is when New York, which is the financial district, the financial head quarters of the US, right? So Wall Street picks up about two o'clock. So as Wall Street starts their day, London is closing and then New York goes all the way into the evening time about 9 p.m um gmt and that's exactly when tokyo is pretty much waking up and then once tokyo is sleep doing sydney which is in australia kind of like picks up so that's exactly what time zones are about however um that poses a little issue because a lot of people are asking themselves at what point of the day should we be trading what point of the day you know is most you know, at what point of the day do we have the most liquidity at what time of the day is my trade best at what time of the day do i get the best return on investment now what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to break it down into bit by bit because I want you guys, you have to understand that the way I like to teach and the way that I like to make these videos is in such a way whereby you guys get to understand things to the smallest middle school. I teach in a way whereby I wish I was taught because guys, I've been doing this 11 years and I tell you, I mean, the first two years wasn't exactly easy because I didn't have access to all this information. I didn't have anybody come on here and be like, yo, my name is Dapo, what is the best time zones and blah, blah. I didn't have all of that, right? So you guys should consider yourself lucky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into four segments. And then at the end of the day, we're going to identify that time zone that's going to make you a lot of money, right? So let's kick things off with the, new, uh, with the London session, which is the morning time, right? And I'll tell you the good and the bad about these sessions, right? And then we'll put everything together. We'll compile everything together, right? So the thing about it is the, the market, well, in quote, kicks off by 9 a.m. 
uh, GMT. GMT is London time, right? So that's when, you know, people like me, I used to work in London, you know, get on the train, catch the train to Canary Wharf and all that. And, you know, we get to the desk, put everything on. And then we have all these orders from clients and stuff like that. And then we're trading, we we'll put the algorithms on. Guys, best believe there are algos in this game. <laughs> there are algos and they're very smart. Hold on, guys. I need to drink some water. Give me a sec. I got a mug with my picture on it. Can you guys see it? That's pretty cool. It was a gift actually. And sorry, real quick. There's a, there's a saying on the mug that goes, regardless of the economy in the jungle, a lion can never eat grass. That's what you need to say to yourself. Regardless of whatever is going on in the market, you are a lion and you can never eat anything but profits, right? So that's what this mug represents. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So we get to work in the morning, the orders are coming in and we're looking at the charts and then we start, you know, and then we put all the algos on and everybody's... But so around that, between 9 to 11 a.m., um, by the time we get to work on a new day, so it can be between Monday to Friday, right? Around, you know, between 9 to about 12 noon, about 12.30 when we have to go on lunch break, is when we tend to see a lot of volatility because everybody's placing orders. We have emails, we have clients, you know, everybody's, you know, so it becomes very, very volatile in the morning. And a lot of scalpers, guys, you need to listen to this. A lot of scalpers like to trade around this time. Like A lot of people like to be like, okay, this is the best time for me to trade. And that's when you start to see a lot of scalpers coming and people trying to catch quick fire. Uh, 50 to 100 pips and you see all those traders that have a lot of screens and blah 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 cool however the disadvantage with the london session is that due to the amount of algorithms that are trading within that period um they tend to be a significant amount of market manipulation now if you're not careful okay this, see the thing about the London session is that it pro pro provides you a lot of uh, a lot of trading opportunities. But if you're not careful, you can get you know get your hands pretty messed up because you have a lot of algorithms. You have people like me trading around that time of the day. So if you're not the most educated trader, you might run into issues. Don't get me wrong, London is a fantastic session to trade. However, it is quite difficult as well. Now. Let's go over to, so as we move from London into New York, now, one thing, I've, and now guys, all of this I'm talking about is from experience, right? As we move into the New York session, one thing, I look, now New York is, so the market kind of like slows down a little bit. I noticed that for New York, they like, what really gets the New York session up and running is usually news release, right? So news releases are, are, are kind of like the catalyst for the New York session. And I also noticed that, if so whatever happens in the morning i noticed that new york always tries to do the direct opposite why that happens i don't know like they just always try to do the opposite and if a news release doesn't come i give you an example if the euro is falling let's talk let's talk practical stuff right so if the euro is falling for example and um there isn't any news release to basically carry the euro further down meaning that if there isn't, isn't any negative news coming out from the eurozone or any positive news coming out from the us dollar that's going to carry on with that euro trade that euro downward movement if it's if there's no catalyst to keep pushing it lower i tend to what tends to happen is that the new york guys tend to come up and do something a bit different, right? So what tends to happen is, and apart from the fact that the New York guys have a different approach to the market and want to do something else, don't forget that the London guys, it's about two o'clock when New York opens, the London guys are rounding up and they're about to start taking profit. And this is why you start to realize that around that period, the market starts to get a bit conflicted, okay? So if the New York guys want to do something else and the London guys are trying to, you start to see a lot of whips up. Now, what tends to happen is people who've been trading all morning, people who've been trading all morning made a lot of money. If they're not careful, what tends to happen is that they give away all the, let's say you made 150 pips, you're like, yes, I've made $10,000, $15,000. If you're not careful around the time when there's a change, when there's a change between these sessions and there's a lot of confusion, you might, 
most of the time traders tend to give away all their profits now that's the essence of this video so that you know exactly what to do and how to position yourself and guys don't worry i'm still getting to the best time zone right just relax now we carry on to new york everything is going all right people like me are just running up like man i'm going home new york boys are calling us like yo daps you know it's, the market looks really interesting but i'm like all right cool i already made money during early on in the day i'm going home you know so the new york boys kind of like carry things over but one thing i also realized about the new york session is guys you have to understand that in new york um because the u.s isn't really too keen about fx so to speak the the traders they would rather trade the, the stock market and stuff like that right so uh what you tend to hear in the news is more of stock market news and all that so the new york boys would just shake up the market a little bit and then you start to see the market probably head in the opposite direction or just lie follow up until New York is about to close. Now, when New York is about to close, usually that's when you start to see FOMC news. That's when you start to see GDP numbers coming out from here and there. And then that is exactly what now starts to move in. So the New York guys, once they reverse what happens during London session, they don't really trade that much until they're about to go home why that happens i don't know you have to understand that everything i'm speaking about here i speak from experience right and guys let me tell you something about all of this at the end of the day right um all these sessions and all these time zones you know if you really want to be immune to all of this, actually, I'm going to say that. Let me let me let me finish with the remaining two sessions. So let's go over to the last two sessions. So as New York is about to close, and everybody's like, okay, Dabs, tell us how to go about this. Tell us the best time zones. Don't go anywhere, right? <laughs> I'll tell you guys how to because it sounds a bit confusing. Like, should I trade in the morning, afternoon? I'm going to tell you guys what to do. But I need to finish this part. It's very important. Don't go anywhere. Once we're done with New York, and New York traders are obviously, they usually tend to start making a, a lot of moves start to start happening towards the end of New York session. After they're done with reversing the market, once London boys are done, which is probably about, so now I'm talking about 8 p.m. in the evening. And now around this time, a lot of 9 to 5 people are closing from work and all that. And then they're like, okay, cool. How do I position myself and blah, blah, blah and stuff like that. Once New York is, is about to close, we have... Um Tokyo starts to pick up. So that's Jap this Japanese market. And then once the Japanese market is about to close about 3, 4 a.m. in the morning, Australia starts to pick up. So what is actually happening here is this, guys. These traders pretty much, the markets pretty much hand, hand themselves over to the next people, right? Now, you're probably asking yourself, you know, at what point do I trade in between sessions? At the beginning of sessions, do I trade London when it's but in London in the morning is a bit volatile? New York boys are reversing it. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's a lot. Now, how have I been able to make a lot of money in the midst of all this noise? The honest truth is this, guys. You need to adopt a style of trading. As you can see, I just said a lot of things, right? Uh you need to adopt a, a style of trading that helps you trade and make a profit regardless of whatever time of the day it is. Your trading style needs to be immune to these time zones. And that's the exact same thing that I, I spoke about when I was talking about time frames. There's, don't forget there's time zones and there's time frames. See, the thing about Forex is there's a lot of things for, for people to, you know, to, 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 to process. And this is why it's a lot. <laughs> it's actually a lot, right? So you need to adopt a strategy that is immune to these time zones. And I'm going to share with you guys a very, very good one that can help you guys be immune so that you don't have to worry if it's in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Because, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. There are people who stay up. Like, okay, you know what? I work at 9 to 5, so I'm going to stay up all night and I'm going to trade. Guys... The Asian session, the boys in the night, the market is so quiet. It's so quiet. Like, it's like literally in a heartbeat, right? It's so quiet. So you're asking yourself, you know, how exactly, because people who say to themselves, I'm going to go to work, and then in the night, I'm going to trade. How, there are not that many trading opportunities, except you want to trade the Japanese yen. 
Now, without any further ado, the best approach to all of this is something called a top-down analysis. Now, what this does for you, and this is exactly what I've, this strategy I've used it to make a lot of money in the market. I've made so much money from the market with this strategy that is insane. Trust me, guys. So what I do is this. I use what they call a top-down analysis, whereby I'm able to anticipate like a thousand pips into the into the future, right? The way I do the analysis, I am anticipate over a thousand pips into the future. This way, I'm not worried about what's happening in the morning, afternoon, or evening, because at the end of the day, if I've predicted that the euro is going to fall a thousand pips, what's my business? If, you know, more what's happening in the morning, what, you the market can go up, down, sideways, blah, blah, but I've done my projection and I'm right nine out of 10 times. So I don't really care if it's morning, afternoon, or evening, right? And the good thing about it is regardless of the time that your trade aligns, with, regardless of the time that it is time for you to actually place that trade, it doesn't matter if it's New York, London, Asia, whatever. it doesn't matter. Just once it's time to trade, just place the trade, set your stop loss parameters, set your take profit parameters and close your laptop and go have fun with your family. You don't, you no longer, have, with the top down analysis, you no longer have to worry about time zones anymore because at the end of the day you're seeing the bigger picture do you know how many time zones are going to occur for 1000 pips to play on it's none of your business guys i like to tell you guys something right just before i have to leave you guys forex is simple you have to treat it like an investment vehicle trade and go do other things and guys you're in luck i've created something called the forex mastery program whereby i teach this top-down analysis the link is gonna be down here somewhere around here so that you don't have to keep worrying about time zones and and the good thing about it is you're immune to time zones it teaches you what time zones you know you know it teaches you about all everything about the time zones it teaches you about the best time frames to use guys do you know that you shouldn't just be trading on one time frame aha the the the, the, the forex mastery program what it does for you is it shows you how to do what they call a top down analysis what to look at on the monthly weekly daily and how to execute on the 4 hour time frame don't believe anybody that tells you um once again if you want to grab the program the link is going to be in the description as always or around here i know this video is quite lengthy but don't believe anybody that tells you oh i have this london daybreak strategy or this new no 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 no. those things are all a fallacy it's all a fallacy you want to have a strategy that helps you you know trade and go do other things because think about it imagine you have to be oh i have to be on my desk i have to check my phone nah if you keep trading like that, you're only going to be at the mercy of the broker. You're only going to be at the mercy of, you know, the the broker, the, 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 uh, at the mercy of the broker, at the, at the mercy of the algorithms, at the mercy of the investment banks. You're just going to keep depositing at no result. But with the top-down analysis, we don't worry about time zones over here. Who cares about time zones, man? Really and truly, like, we don't care about time zones, man. We don't care about time frames. Well, we care about time frames, but we know how to use the time frames. I'll give you an example. On the monthly time frame, what you should do with your monthly time frame is to identify the overall trend. Weekly time frames are for chart patterns. Daily are for the immediate trend within the overall trend. And then four hour is where you come to execute. So if your four hour chart is, you know, your, your setup is on a four hour time frame and you know, it's a New York session or a London session. You don't care. You just place the trade, close it, and go do other things. So, guys, once again, I hope I've been able to educate you guys about time zones. And I've ho I hope I've been able to clear out that myth. Because people are like, I want to trade in the morning. No, you don't need to do that. Take it from me, I'm that poly. So once again, guys, the link to the Forex Mastery Program is going to be in the description around here as always. I'm here. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, I forgot to add that. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on juicy information like this. I love you guys very much and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. This is my video on time zones. Say goodbye to worrying about what time of the day it is to trade. All you need to do is grab the Forex Mastery Program, digest the information on there and become immune to what time of the day you should be trading. You can trade at whatever time and you will still make a lot of profit. My name is Dapo Willis 
once again i love you guys very much and i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos take it easy and peace out